Victoria. Hello, this is Breakfast with Sean Williams and Charlie State. A damning report says schools across England have failed to protect pupils and staff from deadly asbestos. Now, a damning report into asbestos in schools says children and teachers are still at risk and that management of asbestos is ineffective and at times dangerous. Well, asbestos is present in about three quarters of schools in England. The government says as long as it remains undamaged and undisturbed, it shouldn't be a cause for concern. Graeme Satchel's been looking into this for us and Graeme's here now. Let's straight away establish how big of it. It's small. As there's only 16 schools, so I think all the conclusions of this have to be seen in that context. I think what's interesting about the audit, though, is that schools were asked to volunteer for this process and they were given a guarantee that they wouldn't be named at the end of it. So you might think that the ones who would come forward would be fairly confident about the way that they're managing asbestos. Actually, this audit has found that not one of them were fully compliant with the health and safety guidelines. Now, what campaigners say is that this is indicative of a much wider problem, that it's cold, hard evidence, if you like, that asbestos isn't being managed properly in schools. And as I've been finding out, that can have serious consequences for pupils and teachers. Carol Hagedorn taught in schools for 30 years. She was diagnosed with mesothelioma in 2008. It's a devastating, incurable lung disease caused by exposure to asbestos. I think it was my husband who asked uh, how long, the how long question, and they just shrugged. Because, and then you learn fairly fast after that that most people die within two years. The first warning about asbestos in schools came as early as 1967. The government was told children in particular were at risk of serious lung damage, even from low levels of asbestos exposure. Today, government policy is to leave asbestos in place and manage it. Surveys are meant to be done, inspections carried out. But a detailed study of 16 schools paints a worrying picture. The country's leading asbestos specialists, ATAC, found management of asbestos ineffective and at times dangerous, confusion over who has responsibility for asbestos between the council and head teachers, and surveys described as superficial, a lack of knowledge even of where asbestos is. The problem is so serious because of the lack of management that's in place throughout our school system. Potentially there's millions of school children and teachers and support staff at risk now, today. Teaching unions say the government has dithered and action is now needed. Don't deny that it's dangerous and don't say it's okay to leave it in schools. It is not. Once they've assessed where it is and what state it's in, they can start a process of removing the most dangerous first. Whilst it says there, it is inherently dangerous and will kill people. More than 170 teachers have died from asbestos-related illness since 1980 and numbers are rising. Carol knows her own prognosis is not good. The government says it's producing further training for head teachers and local authorities, but campaigners say this is an issue that is not being taken seriously enough. Uh, Graham, you said that uh, head teachers are going to get further training in how to deal with this. Will, will that be enough for them and for the unions? Uh, I don't think so. I mean, what the unions really want is they want a full audit of all the schools and then they want a phased removal of asbestos. And ultimately, what they want is all asbestos removed from schools. But I don't think that's going to happen. It would be phenomenally expensive. It would cost billions and billions of pounds and the government won't, well, just won't go for that. The government's been very robust about this. It's saying that there are already strict laws in place and schools and local authorities are compelled you know, to follow those legal guidelines and they're sticking to their main policy that as long as asbestos is undisturbed, undamaged, managed properly, it's not uh, a serious health risk. The key question I suppose is, is it being managed properly? And what this audit begins to suggest is no, it isn't. Uh, and that's really where the point of argument comes. Campaigners meet ministers on Wednesday and they'll try and push it forward there. Okay, Graham, thank you very much. Thank you.